Hello everyone, welcome to Desi Liverpool Fan TV. Uh, this is post-match reaction for our game against Spurs at Wembley. We won 2-1. Apologies for delay. Uh, I've been caught up in some personal work, uh, so couldn't get time yesterday. Uh, that was sensational performance. It's, uh, two 2-1 flattered Spurs. It should have been 4-1, 5-1 or 6-1 should have been fair reflection. Uh, so that that is one criticism for our team yesterday that they did not finish their chances and could not keep up the clean sheet. The only two negatives, not talking about that, uh, we were sensational. The way we controlled midfield was exceptional, especially in the second half. Spurs were nowhere to see. You would think that going uh, one nil down, they will come back and they will try to enforce the issue just like they did against us at Anfield last year but they were nowhere to be seen. Genie, Mili and Keita really dominated the middle of the park and especially Genie. Genie was exceptional yesterday. I think uh, he has gone a notch above uh, from the couple of seasons we had with him. Uh, I think he has been a really sensational player for us now and a deep lying midfielder is getting best out of him and Klopp Always improve players, but Genie has taken it to another level. Uh, I thought when uh, we signed, uh, we got Keita and Sakiri that Genie would be the guy who will get displaced. But credit to him, he has taken it to another level, and um, maybe competition get best out of him or whatever. Maybe the reason he has been sensational for, and till now he has been uh, our player of the. For the past five match, I think he is the most consistent player. Mm. Mili was also exceptional. Uh, he is a water buy, uh, free transfer. You cannot ask for more. He covers uh, each blade uh, in the field. He was such a such a complete performance from him, and he almost gave us a dream start. And if Mane wouldn't have put his leg because he didn't touch, so if he wouldn't have put his leg. And stood that goal would have stood and Milner would have got his assist, which I think he, his performance merited uh, and deserved. So, so uh, but still, and uh, Gary Lineker uh, rightly uh, in his tweet apologized Milner, uh, great, great, because from the I think later of the season, last season, uh, mostly from January. He has picked up, uh, Milner has picked up and he has been sensational and he did not go in the World Cup just to focus on uh, Liverpool career and he said that I want to be best what I could be at Liverpool so good good decision and I think it is paying off, he is doing good and uh, uh, our, our defence look uh, another level. Last time we were run ruined at Wembley and I really almost in tears, I was almost in tears after 30-35 minutes. I was so self shocked that how we are playing like that. We were carved open many a time. So and we were doing committing mistake. Four one, it was kind of embarrassing. And I really wanted to avenge that defeat, but we couldn't win at Anfield. Um, such a pre penalty at the very last moment, and we two two draw. But finally, we got our revenge. And we did it at Wembley and we should have got at least four goals, at least. Uh, and it would have laid down the marker uh, for our Premier League contendership. It will, it will. 2-1 still, I, I, I can, you can mark my word, no team will go there at Wembley and do what we have done. We outplayed, we outthought, we outfought say, Tottenham really and no one team is going to do them for entire 90 minutes. Tottenham were nowhere to be seen and I, it will not happen again in at Wembley this season unless we get in FA Cup or something um, in in Carabao Cup or FA Cup we will get if we will get Wembley tie against them we will do that again and other than us no team will go there and do that to this to them because the, the Pochettino thrives on uh, pressing opponents and uh, his team are very good at that but they met a team which were notch ahead of what they want to do to other team and they really caught up this clock well oiled machine can 
knock any team out of their strides. I, I, I firmly believe that we can knock any team out of our strides and we did that. And as, as I said earlier that the only criticism is that we should have scored and and that would have added flair flair to our result but all in all three points uh which we really wanted there uh i i saw many of uh, tweets saying that mane was uh, being selfish not giving to sala or something like that look that's that's not be that's not the case that he's selfish he do not want to give it to sala and such kind of things i do not believe in that look the, he is in staggering goal scoring form even in last year i think he scored 20 so all of our front three are capable of scoring at any point of time at any angle so see that could be the reason they are shooting more rather than passing but club will sort that out i know he was livid a couple of times one against salah and once against mane he was literally shouting at them that they should pass or something like that so th- th- this will and this is only fifth match and uh I, we will click uh our front three are not clicked at the level we know they can and i think they will click sooner rather than later and you will see the real flair uh, of our team and what we always want that we blow team apart we will see in uh, in couple of matches time we will see that and i think uh they are coming at it and especially our midfield and defense was awesome joe gomez was exceptional i know he made one mistake where lucas mora could have scored and um he caught up in the flag but uh he he really did he did not lose his head especially after getting a one mistake he we saw in the past that joe gomez could cu- couple mistake with another mistake but he composed himself and he did very well one crunching tackle on Mora was exceptional and I think he along with Gini is our best player to so far of the season uh, with these five matches I think he and Gini are the best player followed by VVD and Mili and yesterday I, I, I wanted to give the man of the match to Gini because uh, as I said that he is taking it to next level so all in all good performance uh, next up is PSG uh, uh, second best three against best three of ours so it should be a good match and especially at Anfield I'm confident that we will do the do our job um, it sh- it should be a good cracking match uh, I know that uh, we are playing against a lot of teams of higher quality right now and one match after another we, we are going to get tougher opponent but as a Liverpool fan we should cherish this moment um, we have waited long enough for Champions League ma- matches. Uh, last year was exceptional in Champions League and I think we can do one better than last year. Keeping my finger crossed. Uh, it should be a good match. Uh, wait for our preview video mostly by tomorrow. I'll make a pre- pre-match preview against PSG. That should be a cracking game. Looking forward for it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.